there's language in this building, languages in the building. There's all sorts of uh, ways that this building is communicating with us. You can't, you may not be able to articulate what the building is saying, uh, but you, you, you get the messages. This building is, is, is always sending these messages. It's hard to pinpoint and put it into words, but you are part of a larger whole. Every little corner tells a story about 400 years ago, 300 years ago. It's as if we were stepping into a magical space. If Harry Potter were from Southern Europe, here would be Hogar. Inspiration. History is a source of inspiration. We have more than 2,000 years of history here. It was occupied by the Romans. We found the Roman remains here, and it was the first foundation of the Dominicans in Spain. Stalin was mandatory for the Dominicans, and they created a school for the young friars. Uh, so I think today we are close in a circle, 800 years later. Our Segovia campus is a clear example of preserving traditions and rehabilitating them to the needs that the university has. This was a convent, later a house for orphans, and finally a university. 2,000 years using the same material. How many things do you know that are useful for 700 years? Why is it important broadly to maintain buildings like this? I think on the one level, there's a sustainability argument to be made that the best building is the one you don't have to make new. But then there's the, the, the maybe a more emotional argument for why we want to maintain things. And that is to maintain our position as part of a continuum. But a good building can be repurposed, right? It can be reused over time, adapted, and it lives. And it's not a, it's not a, a museum piece that has to be kept just so. Uh, so this is one of the, the great things about this building. It, it, it it's, keeps its core even when it changes its function. So this is what has happened in the Segovia campus where we have renovated the structure, but we've also changed things in the operations and the operating systems. El edificio tal y como nos viene dado prácticamente nos vale en su totalidad y eso genera una economía de, de recursos importante. Y luego nosotros lo que hemos hecho ha sido mejorar en la medida de lo posible lo que eh, lo que no estaba bien resuelto cuando llegamos. The building changed completely. We maintained the general structure of the building with three cloisters in a line, in a straight line, but the dedication of these spaces is, is completely different. En las primeras visitas el edificio estaba bastante deteriorado, eh, estructuralmente no estaba mal, necesitaba mucho, mucha reforma. Todos los consumos del edificio, el, los sistemas de iluminación, etc., se renovaron desde el principio. La, una de las primeras fases fue la renovación de todo eso. Y eso ha hecho pues, que al final energéticamente el, el edificio funcione infinitamente mejor. We are pursuing to buy 100% renewable energy to reduce our carbon footprint, but we've also introduced efficiency sensors for light, for heating systems, for water. Para convertir lo que no funcionaba en algo que funciona a la perfección, con eh, instalaciones que lo han hecho infinitamente más sostenible, con muchísimo aporte de tecnología para hacer que sean aulas, a pesar de estar en un entorno eh, histórico y clásico, en aulas que funcionan exactamente en las mismas condiciones que las que habría en la torre. Se ha completado durante el 2007 todo lo que de las cosas que carecía para convertirlo en un edificio excepcional. We see how the corridors have been transformed into places where students exchange their experiences, pursuing the sense of belonging and the engagement of our students to the place where they're studying and also to the city where we can make a big impact. This place where we are sitting right now, the Creativity Center, is a way for students to establish a dialogue with the communities. Four times a year, they organize exhibits here that are open to the public. 
And of course, there is a lot, you always see life uh, in the town because there are always students around. There is a, a very kind of family-like environment. I asked one of my students, actually I asked the entire class to say, what, what is the essence of Segovia? If you have one word, and, and, and this one student, she said, magic. And I said, okay, what do you mean? And then she talked about the way it feels to be here. There's something here that's more than just the individual building blocks. There's something magical. I really do think this is, this is something that a sensitive student picks up. At the same time that you are surrounded by monumental historical buildings, you are also surrounded by wild nature. But there is a very soothing feeling about this walk, La Alameda, as they call. In fact, Antonio Machado, who lived in Segovia, he writes about that walk too. Uh, this is a place that feels like a space for reflection. Again, the sound, the, the, the coolness of the air, all of it, it makes this a space where one wants to reflect. If you're in a box in the middle of the city, you, know, you don't want to hear the city outside. That's, that's, that's pollution, that's noise pollution. Here, if I open a window in my classroom, I hear the river, I hear birds. I don't consider that noise pollution, I consider that kind of a connection to the place. What's special about it is this sense of timelessness. When uh, we come to commencement week that we have graduation day, we also think as we're sitting there that, wow, Isabel de Castilla used to come here to worship. So there is this sort of circular idea that as humanity, we, there, there are cycles of beginning and end. And so time coexists. It's like a capsule and it's a very, very special feeling that we, we come from somewhere we, and we are going somewhere. Today we have technologies, but still we have down there, we have um, the remains of a Roman house. So for me, it's a symbol of the history, not only of this comet, but of the history of Segovia. And probably um, the history of the impact that this community of IE students and professors from 70 different nationalities, the huge impact that this community is having on the city of Segovia. Probably the most important impact, cultural and economic impact, that this uh, city has received from, for the last 500 years. <laughs>